the cold, rainy day out here on the road. Got the uh, Buick Park Ave Ultra. Getting rid of it today. Should be interesting. That car is uh, pretty heavy from the factory. And curb weight's like almost 4,000 pounds on that thing. So, be interesting to see. I got a lot of weight inside of it. Just, uh, Got off the interstate. Still morning time. Got an early start today. So. I know I shouldn't, but another one of my favorites. Apple fritter. You can see this one. They actually put apple in there. Got like an apple filling, but some Dunkin' Donuts you go, you get one of these, and it's just like the fritter itself. There's no filling, but it kind of like tastes like apple and cinnamon, kind of. But um, I don't know. They're all kind of different. special treat when they got the filling. Apologize for that other video. Um, something's going on. Technical difficulties with my uh, editing program, I think like um, some of the files get get corrupted or something and the sound cuts off and then they freeze up I've never been one to um, be too good at the editing of the videos um, I used to like, back in the beginning, I used Windows Movie Maker. Very simple. Before the, uh, before everything with HD and everything like that. But, they got rid of that, and, um, I got a, I got a program I downloaded for free. Um, it's called like VSD or something, Video Editor, it's like a green label. I don't know, I never know what the best like um, format to export it to, like, you know, WMV or MOV or, you know, all those different ones. Don't laugh at me. I mean, I'm still kind of old school, you know, but I try. So if you got any suggestions on um, what type of program I should be using, that video there, I know it froze up, but I, no matter what I did, couldn't fix it. The original files, I watched them and everything was fine. The, the files coming off my SD card were all good, but once I brought them into that and then um, made the whole video, I kept on doing weird shit like that. Well, get to that point just fast forward a little bit probably me just blabbering on about nonsense anyway
So I got the Buick loaded up. I'm gonna weigh it in. Gamble on the cat separately. I got a bunch of wheels and tires in the back, some batteries. Hopefully it's a good little payday. Seems like all I do is buy gas lately. I guess in my mind the way I justify it is I'm trying to use the dually as much as I can now before the weather gets really bad because it's not very good in the snow and I don't really want to drive it much in the snow. My wife actually asked me about it why I wasn't using the black truck to haul the cars down and um, I mean it was nice especially with the AC and um, you know comfortable ride and everything but I guess just the way I think of it is I want to kind of save that and I don't want to wear it out too much before I'm going to need it all the time you know in the bad weather I'll be using that to four-wheel drive and I won't be getting stuck in people's driveways and stuff, you know, with this thing, but plus I I've been running um, whatever gas I can get out of the cars. I've been sucking the gas right out and uh, I'm not going to not going to run that in the 2010. That'll screw it all up being all computerized and shit. So the old dually really don't care. Change the fuel filter every now and then. It drinks it right down. It doesn't care what it is. So that's another reason I've been running it. And when I get off the interstate, um, I still got another 15, 20 minutes that are just uh, kind of some back roads that go up and down the hills. And uh, seems like the black truck's just sort of always kicking out because it's got that six-speed transmission and it's not geared you know for towing really so it's always kicking down and the rpms are really high i kind of feel bad for it you know i don't want to ruin it don't want to break it but the dually doesn't care the dually just 454 turbo 400 with 410 gears made for hauling stuff so it doesn't care about them hills you just crowd the pedal a little bit and it climbs right up pulls a lot better than that newer truck but uses a lot more fuel so I don't know
That was a heavy Buick, but I didn't make my five uh, <clears throat> five thousand pound mark anyway. But just under five thousand pounds, and that was the good news. The bad news is, of course, the cat was half full. So, what are you going to do? It's a gamble every time. Like I said, you cut it off. You don't know if it's half full. You don't know if it's empty. That's what these people don't understand that are selling me the cars, you know. I try to explain to some, but they just don't get it. A lot of those Fords, they'll be burnt right out. You know, I've gotten them empty, nothing in them. So, people don't understand that. But hey, life goes on, we make a little profit, and we got Wendy's Chili, my favorite. Had to do it thick today. It's always different. I kind of like when it's uh, like real soupy, you know? But hey, see if it's hot. acceptable but I like to I like to really burn my mouth off with it you know temperature wise not not spiciness I don't like that but does anyone remember if you even have Wendy's around you Remember they used to give you those little packets of, uh, it was like a little, like, um, hot sauce kind of to add to the chili to make it spicier? They used to have that. I remember my dad getting it. Putting it in there. Funny, I would never get, I would never get the chili when I was younger, but nowadays I like it. We got some fries too. Stale. Funny they uh, they recently guarantee their fries. They put this on there, and it seems like every time since they did that, I've got them. That they're no good. I did the survey thing. It was on the receipt. It's like a you get like a coupon for a free sandwich or something, but I actually still have it at home. But I told them about it. I said, you know. You do all this guaranteeing. I said the last three times I got them, they were like un, almost unedible. Terrible. It's a funny thing, you know. So, someone actually called me. A lady called me, a manager from that, from that Wendy's that I was going to. Of course, I was doing something. I missed the call. She left a message, left a number for me to call back. She said, "We got a, we got a complaint about cold fries." So, I called the number back three times. No answer. Just keeps ringing. There's no voicemail. There's no nothing. It's just keeps ringing and ringing. So 
So there you go. That's what you get. You know, you try to play by the rules and let them know, hey. Fries are no good. Something going on, but. I don't know. It's the way the world is now. Everything's screwed up. Just had to go to Walmart and get a few things. I'll tell you what, I don't like it in there. We don't have anything like that um, in town near me, so when I'm down this way, I usually stop. Get a few supplies, a few things, you know, some, something you might need. Pushing a cart around every corner I took, there's somebody right there, almost bumping in. And oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, oh. I don't know. Not fun, that's for sure. Not a fun shopping trip at all. Especially now, getting near the holidays, I try to, you know, it's not even worth it to go in the stores and deal with that aggravation. Try to get everything online if I can, shorter it. I don't have to deal with the hassle. You know what store? The worst store you can go into, especially right around this time of year, Christmas Tree Shops. What a terrible store. The line is out the door to check out. The aisles are tight. They got everything packed in. You can't look at anything. You stop and look at something and it's like you're... You know, you're messing the whole world up. People are trying to get around you, bumping into you. Just a nightmare. I tried going in that store, not today, but, but last week I did. My wife wanted me to look for something in there. Tell you what. I told her, I said, I'll be never going. I'll never be going back in that store again. Ever. That and home goods, you can cross those right off the list. Never going to home goods ever again in my life. Terrible place. Three packs of crackers. No thanks. Thanks for checking me out. See you on the next one. Or maybe... Possibly. On the streets.